Because this is one of my favorite topics, states raising revenue. Lagos State is about to have a summit uh, later this month, the Eco Revenue Plus Summit, which is going to be aimed at reshaping revenue generation in Lagos State. Uh, if we take a look at some of the uh, areas of concentration for the, the ERPS, which is the Eco Revenue Plus Summit, informal sector, circular economy, digital economy, property sector, and energy. I've been obsessed with energy now for, for quite a while. Uh, let's look at the top five. Uh, internally, uh, internal generated revenue uh, for 2023. It's, it's such the gap is just gargantuan. Lagos State, $815 billion uh, for 2023. The FCT, 211. River State, 195. Ogun State, 146. And my home state of Delta, 114. That's your top five. So let's speak to our guest now about the summit, Abdul Kabir Kweyemi Ogumbo. He's a special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on taxation and revenue. The money man. Good morning to you, Thank sir. You. Good morning. Pleasure Good to have you on the show. So yeah. tell us about this summit. What, what, what's going to happen here? You're, you're, you're looking to raise money? Yeah, um, uh, actually, the, the summit is um, another uh, innovation to bring various stakeholders together and um, to ensure that, um, especially the perception of the, the ultimate beneficiaries of when you pay your bills yeah. in terms of revenue, that's the payers, citizens, yeah. yes. understand the, pers uh, the uh, perception around even this revenue generation. So the summit is bringing stakeholders together like investors, technical partners, banks, and even the MDAs that manages, that comes off with um, policies, directions for the state. So yeah. it's an opportunity for us to come together and uh, come with um, ideas that will be follow through afterwards. I love it. I love it all. I love it all. What, um, what would differentiate this summit from others? Um, number one is, like I said, just uh, immediately, this summit is going to have this, you know, it's touching digital economy, uh, property sector, uh, informal sector, and all that. After the summit, we're going to come up with a deal book, which we're going to collectively now buy the MDAs. MDAs, through the approval of Mr. Governor, we're going to create a desk to see through this one this time around, so that beyond just talk show, we have a dedicated team and desk that follow the, the conclusions and initiative that comes out of the uh, summit. Well, we cover technology quite a bit on this show. I'm very obsessed with tech. I feel, I feel technology is the future. Um, and Lagos State has you know, practiced that in terms of uh, paying taxes and so on and so forth. How does the summit plan to harness innovation and technology without uh, imposing more taxes? More tax, yes. Yeah. For, um, so we, we, we uh, sat and felt that one of the things that you can do to the citizen is to simplify the way they interact with government. Yeah. So how do they interact? One, we are putting, recently we launched um, a product called Lagos Revenue Portal, which uh, aims at bringing all bills that are generated. So the era of, um, I'm not seeing my bill at the comfort of my homes are over because any bills generated in any of the MDAs in Lagos, that you can see that on your own platform, which is uh, through a self-service, so we also created artificial intelligence bot, which respond to the yearnings of the citizens. Whether you want to pay, you are not able to make payment, you are not able to get your receipt, you are not able to do your reversal as and when. So there are technology that is being supported by our office and the system to ensure that the ultimate people are satisfied and are, uh, responded to uh, on, uh, on time. Mm. Um, when we looked at the areas of concentration there, energy is on that uh, list. Um, there's also, of course, been a lot of talk about energy, energy, energy. Um, what are Lagos State's plans in that, as far as that sector um, is, uh, is concerned, and so, the role that pri private, private sector will play there? So, so with regards to energy, you know, why we're bringing it onto this uh, conversation is energy, like you know, is light, is power, it is aimed at um, I mean, energizing the environment so that the business environment, creating employment, creating opportunities can be energized. And what do you expect? So currently, we're going to the phase of legislation and co so that when you have a standard legislation in place, uh, it creates you know, um, conducive business environment so that even the investors can come in. And so, but 
ultimately, the purpose is to generate indirect revenue. What that means is that you're not using that energy to you know, generate more revenue, rather, but create an environment that will now invariably create indirect revenue. Because by the time you create jobs, SMEs will grow, um, various companies will expand in their capacity and the likes. So that is the aim of bringing energy into this conversation. Uh, property taxes, Land Use Act, and the like. Real estate is another, you know, jewel in Lagos Crown. A very, you know, uh, very attractive area here to live in. Um, how is this summit going to explore the real estate sector? Um, and again, just like I said in my prior question on not having to impose more taxes, expanding it and bringing more investment there. Okay, basically, if you identify, you know, Lagos State um, sits on a very small land mass mm -hmm. in the country. And um, what that means is that one of our oil or reliable revenue should have been uh, a property, which is our landed property and co. So we have a system in place where, you know, we can't talk enough. We have what we have uh, called um, urban development, EGIS, yes. that we have um, established to actually do digital enumeration of properties. So we are going to be looking at the property value chain from the, uh, the cost of, you know, acquiring the property, time that it takes to get the requisite document, and to, 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 to where you can also use that property either for mortgage and other things. So what that means is that property value chain is going to be managed, and we're going to be talking a lot about that. We're also going to be looking at areas like a regeneration of um, areas. You know, maybe you have areas that you want to regenerate in a manner that you have a PPP understanding that you can grow it. And it can, you know, imagine that we have about 500,000 uh, housing units being developed. Right. So you can, you can feel what that will mean to the economy of Lagos and, and the surrounding. So, so a lot will be happening on that day within the real, I mean, property, realtors and all that will be coming to give their own advice on what needs to be done, especially where the policymakers are seated and they'll be telling, their, telling us if they are frustration. But the essence of this office is to ensure that you are able to bridge the gap of the public and the, comp I mean, and, and the, and the uh, government so that we can really uh, meet the obligations in which Mr. Governor is voted to, to have. Look, there's a lot. I mean, look, you could have a summit just by itself on real estate alone, or even yeah. on, on, on any of the other items that you're going to be looking at. The circular economy, that's another one that's been gaining um, traction. Um, tell us how Lagos State also wants to make you know, its plans there in terms of boosting that, that, that sector. Well. Um, so circular economy is what is gaining traction in the world today. Mm. So when you talk about reusable uh, materials and the likes. So we are... Um, we have uh, signed an agreement recently with a Ghanaian company that's going to be taking a lead in terms of they are going to be at the summit. So we want to see how even informal sector, the management of waste to wealth, uh, uh, carbon credits and all that will be an advantage for companies who want to you know, get credits, you know, green smart city and all that. It's all interwoven. So it's an opportunity for us to discuss it and open up areas for those that have not been uh, tapped, either to maybe due to one policy or the other. So it's an opportunity and a venue for us to really discuss it and um, so that we can really make our state um, a green state and a state that is um, um, uh, what um, recognized as we, we used to. Now, as far as the lo what you what you envision long term for this summit and the impact it's going to have on um, Lagos State's economy, w what do you see? So um, naturally, when you see Lagos, we have a lot of influx in Lagos. So damning pressure on our infrastructure, pressure on security, pressure on our health care services. So what this means is that we are creating an environment where revenues generated will be used for our people. So we are using this opportunity to say that support for the government is a support for our infrastructure, is a support for our collective growth, is a support for the future of our children in the schools and all that. So you, we, can't, we can't support government enough. So that the essence of the survey long term is to give us that numbers that Lagos need or desire to give developmental uh, projects for its citizens.
I got to ask you something. I always ask this of every uh, Lagos uh, state um, representative of the government. Let's pull up our internally generated um, revenue numbers. The gap between, uh, yes, there we go. So it's uh, like 815 billion for Lagos. FC, I mean, the rest is just, I mean, I think you can, if you add the rest of them, it should probably not still come up to what, let's say two or three. Four. Yeah, if you added up the rest of them, two, four, that's almost six. I'm doing a little bit of math. It will almost come out to Lagos State's IJ. That's the rest of the top five. Yeah. Um, do you want to see more competition from the states, or do you want Lagos to, to, uh, to still remain far ahead, the number one, in terms of IGR attracting businesses? Because the gap is so wide. How do you feel about competition within the states in, in Nigeria? Uh, to, to be honest, we don't really even <laughs> see any competition, to you be don't? honest. Yes, we don't. They are so small. Uh, not, not really categorically. Yeah. But what we see, uh, what I see going forward is that Lagos is not sleeping. Right. You know, whilst we are, you know, talking about the big, another big thing. So we want to, you know, we, we are not complacent. Mm. That's why we have a dedicated office for uh, uh, SA to the governor on taxation and revenue together with Commissioner for Finance, and it's more or less like adding additional attacks to, right. the, to, the, to the game. Yeah. So you see LRS, you see Accountant General, you see Budget, you see Environment, all of us working together to ensure that we are not sleeping, right. because we know the kind of the, the daunting responsibility before us. So it, it is one of these conversations. Mm. Then secondly, when you look at um, what we have put in place, that we are, we are continuously evolving home. So we are now talking about artificial intelligence. Yep, yep. We are now talking about revenue. So we have dedicated um, revenue system for all the MDAs. So we still have a global coordinator who looks at this so that we can be transparent, we can be more efficient, we can serve our people more. So it's, so it's very difficult for competition. So we are, we are even making competition irrelevant. Yeah, because yeah. in this case, and, um, and in line with what the federal government is also doing, when you look at the presidential committee on, Mr. Governor has considered a committee that is already working in advance yeah. with that committee. So, to, so the committee's report and all that, at the end of the day, will come in at, to meet what we have planned and, you know, to, that we had to, to put it together and, and deliver on. So, basically, um, to answer <laughs> in a, on a lighter mode, there's no yeah. competition whatsoever. Um, the, I did see the, the informal economy is on the list there. Yeah. Um, and I know that there's always been talk about trying to formalize the informal economy and, you know, so on and so forth. Well, what's your view on, you know, how, to, how that progresses over time? Um, uh, basically, um, Lagos has done a lot yeah. around informal sector by capturing, by giving the biometric identification, by linking them to NIN and co. But it may not be enough. Yeah. So we're now trying to come up with initiative where you have voluntary registration. So when you give service, let's say legal services, accounting services, your health care and all that, and you're able to differentiate them, and value mm. to what they have. So they, this naturally gives them opportunity to come on board. Yeah. So when they come on board, then, you know, so oh, it, it's, it's something that is in the works. So we are continuously working around informal sector to ensure that a lot of people, and again, the dichotomy be, between those that are really, really informal and those that are maybe at the bottom of the ladder. Mm. So we are mistaking it all the time. You know, we take those at the bottom of the ladder to be the only informal business. Right, no. Right, so right. we have big players that have they're eating somehow under the informal sector that are not really, really fulfilling their obligation. Mm -hmm. So with this innovation initiatives that we're bringing aboard, efficiency and all that, we're going to encourage them to come on board and pay their, because it's moral, yeah. it's civil, I mean, it's social responsibility for them to, to you cannot be in the system and not willing to support that system. So that's what we're doing. So we have a high on informal sector to ensure that without necessarily stressing those people at the bottom of the pyramid, but rather those in the informal business that need to come into the formal world so that they can be captured. How do you, um, a final question for you, 2025, we're asking everybody, what's your outlook for Lagos economy in, in the new year as we, as we approach 2025? How do you see things? Uh, basically, um, because um, uh, you start from, um, currently we have about 40, 42, 43 trillion. 
And um, you see a lot of um, efforts in our uh, tourism, e commerce, requesting for FDIs, right. and all that. So I may not be able to place figure directly on it, but I see. Oh, yeah, no, I was Lagos. asking for figures. I was asking yes. for a general, your, just <laughs> so your general it, thoughts it, on it, how it's brighter. Yeah, yeah. Where, where uh, Mr. Governor is going to present uh, his budget uh, to the Lagos State Assembly on Thursday yeah. and the like. So it, it, it's looking very, very good, I must say, with regards to what I see. Yeah, will we have more, more ERPS summits uh, yes, in the future in coming years? Yes, uh, so this is 1.0. 1, 1 so yeah. obviously, there will be 2.0 as well. Yes. Uh, Mr. Abdul Kabir Akwemi Ogumbo, Special advi State uh, Advisor to the Governor, uh, Special Advisor, of course, on taxation and revenue. Thank you so much for a great conversation on Lagos State. Appreciate your time. Thank you.